guys, so today we're going to be making these Nori-less raw vegan sushi rolls and I recently found out that Nori isn't vegan from my friend Emily, she made a great video on it. I'll put the link below so you can check that out. But let's get started. So the first thing that we're going to need for these is a bunch of collard greens and you're just going to want to wash them, make sure that they don't have any other dirt on them and then what we're going to be doing is de-stemming them. And basically to do this, it's pretty easy, just hold the leaf down flat and run a small knife up the stem. You just want to do this because the stem is pretty tough and it makes them really hard to roll. So once we take this out, it's a lot easier. Then what I do is I have a dehydrator, so I put them on these sheets and I place them in my dehydrator for about 5-10 to 10 minutes, depending on the size of the leaf on about 110 to 115 degrees. If you don't have a dehydrator, you can always use your oven on the lowest setting and just slightly crack it. Or you can also just leave them out during the day. Um, all we want is for them to be kind of wilted and a little bit dehydrated because it makes them super easy to roll. So while they're dehydrating, I'm just going to be making the rice. Um, what we're going to need for that is just a huge parsnip. This makes about two cups, but you could use multiple parsnips if you have them. So here we're just going to be peeling it and then chopping it up into a bunch of little pieces because we're going to be placing this in our food processor. So initially we want to just process the parsnips alone um, to get them into smaller pieces. And then we're going to be adding in about two tablespoons of tahini, one tablespoon of rice vinegar, and one tablespoon of maple syrup. And then we will just be processing all of that together until it's a pretty fine consistency, kind of like the consistency that you would have of rice if you were making regular sushi. At about this time, our collard greens have been in the dehydrator for about 10 minutes. And as you can see here, they're really flimsy, they're kind of like wilted, they're bendable, so they're very easy to roll and it makes them perfect to use as a sushi wrap. So now I'm just going to be putting them together like you would normally put together any other sushi. Again, if you guys don't like, you know, raw vegan sushi and you want to use just a nori list sushi, you can always use regular rice for this. but. Basically what I'm doing is just spreading the rice mixture that we made out of parsnips all over the collard leaf. And then I'm just going to be adding in the fillings that I've chopped up here. So I have cucumber, carrots, and some avocado. You can put whatever you like in them. Sometimes I like to put some romaine in them because it makes them really crunchy and good, but do whatever you like here. So next we're just going to be rolling them and basically you're just going to wrap the leaf around all of your fillings and pull it back tightly towards you. What I really like about using these slightly dehydrated collard wraps is that they're really flexible and easy to use so you're not going to like rip them as easily as you would a nori roll and you don't really need a bamboo mat for this. They also do stick at the ends uh, like a normal nori roll would and the texture tastes pretty much exactly the same except for you don't get that nasty, like, fishy taste with it. So I really, really love this, and I totally recommend you guys trying it. So then when you go to cut them, you can basically just cut them like you would cut a normal nori roll and arrange them on a plate and tag me on Instagram so that I can see what you guys have made. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed.